way to think through it and then start. <laughs> I'll talk a little bit about um, how we should work, uh, how you could work, develop, and, and contribute with the Ubuntu Linux Revolution build. We have, from our side, on the platform we have the NREC, that is basically also an uh, evaluation build, but uh, we are also supporting, as a development platform, uh, Ubuntu as our main OS. So we'll talk a little bit how we support it, how we build it, and how to install and tests and report bugs and so on. So basically the workflow that we are using with Linux. So basically going over the, um, what are the units that we support, and um, we basically, we mainly support four different images currently. Uh, we had more in the past, but uh, uh, we're trying to narrow it down and, and basically four now. Um, Nano, which is, which is a very minimal uh, root fast that is still uh, capable of using APT and uh, the package, um, that currently is less than 100 megabytes, and we still, uh, we just discussed it during this week, some plans to, to shrink it even more. So it should be probably around 60 or 70 megs, something like that. Uh, ABIF, uh, that is actually one, uh, one image request by ARM. That is uh, basically the Nano plus X11 in a, in a browser. So that's most of the requirement that we end up uh, having it as like an XFC image so, uh, with almost full desktop. Not entirely, but yeah, with uh, things more than just the browser. We have the developer image. Then you can tell us it's supposed to be like Nano plus a bunch of developer tools. Like install it by default, like for example, S Trace, uh, Overfile, Perf, LTTNG, System Tab, and uh, whatever other tool that is useful for debugging uh, software and distribution kernel or whatever. And uh, we 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 don't uh, support uh, out of the box uh, the, the ARM DS5, but we support uh, uh, the PPA that you can easily install it, and we, then we can also uh, test. The ARM DS5 tools with with the distribution, and uh, we are always uh, supporting our releases on top of the latest uh, Ubuntu release, what we call the latest stable release. And uh, as if you check uh, the release that we just uh, uh, just made this month, as the 11.10, we are already on top of Oinric, that is the 11.10 uh, uh, version of Ubuntu. And we will probably keep it supporting it for for like four or five months until the other it's in a you know good shape and uh, so we can rebase it and, and, and use the newer one. There's some work going on uh, to have a better quality of Ubuntu in general, you know, in Ubuntu in general. So uh, we may end up switching uh, sooner than we expect, sooner than release. But we'll see. We're still thinking about supporting the owner for now for more at least five months. Um, what we do then uh, on every month is uh, we integrate the, all the work that, uh, that came out from the other uh, Linux working groups, uh, like for example uh, GLMark or Unity Compass or Power Debug, Power Top, or any other tools that the other uh, working groups help developing. We end up integrating our our monthly release and uh, uh, and also try to adding by default on our on our menu. And uh, there's a basically the one single image that looks mostly like uh, with Ubuntu. It says it, it sees Ubuntu desktop. And uh, what we try to do there is, is basically have a clone of Ubuntu, uh, but with Linux sauce on top of it. So on every month, what we release is basically the same Ubuntu desktop that we had on the on the stable Ubuntu release, but with all the additional sauce depends for Linux. So on your kernel. Uh, newer tool chain. We, we don't recompile everything, but we provide a newer tool chain and, uh, and all the other tools that we that we try to support in Southern Arrow. We currently are uh, producing uh, uh, the images on a, on a daily basis. We are generating uh, basically uh, every day on a, currently it's still every day on snapshots.lenaro.org. So if you go to snapshots.lenaro.org, you see. Uh, all the, 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 the images that we build during the day, so all the, the four images here. And also, we support the hard effects for those supported partners that we're working on and, and, and in our engineer. So we have the four main boards, like Origin Tandem, 
and Snowball and the Kickstart, but we also have some other boards that we try to, 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 to work with the community, like Web3, Legal, uh, O'Barrel, IJF, Ethica, and some other boards. Then uh, another question that people usually ask uh, uh, that, about the work that we do is how much of that work is related to Ubuntu? So, um, both from the Ubuntu side and also from the Linara side. As, as I said already, our development and support ends up uh, being on top of the latest stable release. Um, but, and um, we end up switching, as we did, just did the, during this month, once a new release is out. So before the uh, before the, the, the 1110 release of the Naro, we were still supporting Natty, and, uh, and did support for quite a while. And uh, basically, all the the, the the integration, development, and optimization that we do on in the whole Lenaro organization ends up in the, uh, in the, both the Lenaro releases, but we also work and uh, try to push then uh, at upstream, and here our upstream is Ubuntu. So we also try to, to, to push our modifications at Ubuntu because later on when we are we are rebasing, we don't need to do all the work again, and also Ubuntu will benefit by the work that we do. So it's not just downstream work, we also try to help with the upstream. And uh, the goal for that is basically to have Ubuntu fully enabled uh, and supported platform by us, and uh, also optimize the form the most we can, like for kernel toolchain and boot time and uh, UI and uh, the, the most that we can do, try to do, we try to optimize and, and help raise the support. And uh, basically what we want to do, and then just kind of almost, we're kind of almost there in some sense, and it's not entirely for the, for the meta perspective, but we try to make it to the heparin skin slash Linux distribution partner. So what, everybody that could try to have the same experience that they have on their desktop, they should just come up and rather than to have all the benefits from the templates that we do and etc. and uh, on their own ARM boards. But having kind of a similar de uh, development environment they, they have already on their own desktops. <coughs> then uh, trying to cover a little bit uh, our monthly releases uh, and how we, we end up working, because if you compare how Ubuntu develops, uh, uh, how the, the Ubuntu community and developers, etc., uh, do the development of Ubuntu, they have the, uh, they basically come to the UDS to plan like for the next six months, and uh, and then try to come up with the blueprints and then work against each each milestone, like for example, Alpha One, Two, Three, Beta, and uh, release template, and so on. Uh, but we are not using the same cadence, the same release cadence that, uh, as they are at the moment. So we are always, we always end up using, uh, 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 doing the, the monthly releases. So we plan uh, our work a little bit different than, than they do. So how we basically do? Uh, we most of the time we currently at least we end up planning what what will be the following work happening in a month in the first week of the month. I know it's a little bit too late if you think like a one month and you have like three weeks of development and kind of finishing up the, the the planning in the first week is not the greatest that we can do, but it's the one we currently have. So the goal is to move at least to the middle of the previous cycle. So um, uh, we, we try to get in touch with the other working groups and community and so on with the learning teams during the middle of the month and try to come up with a plan for the next one. So like for example, we need to improve and add a feature in U-Boot or kernel or new new release or whatever. We're gonna try to plan it a little bit ahead. And uh, then when we start the next month, we already have most of the things in place. We are also guided by the, mainly actually, guided by the TSC requirements. Um, because uh, then uh, the, 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 the SOC members that actually uh, uh, help uh, creating the goals and etc. for the narrow, they, they actually point us uh, and also help reading with us uh, uh, all what exactly the kind of development that they should be doing and uh, what are the goals, what do we need to improve, what we need to develop, and so on. 
But we also uh, try to talk with both the, the, the Ubuntu and our developers to see what exactly we can try to help and what we can do. Uh, so we can also try to create a new feature. So what happened quite a lot during the past cycle is, is improving, like for example, the bootloader and then trying to create new features and improve the support and so on. So this is also something that is agreed with Ubuntu because for Ubuntu they needed to have like a, a, a bootloader that had USB support, Ethernet support, and VXE support as well because of the server effort that they were, they were leading. And uh, so that's something that we also try to help them. Uh, as I said, we uh, we always try to do this ongoing intervention with uh, integration with the Lenaro working groups components, like uh, the Interfect Turbo, GLMark, and so on. And uh, currently, we uh, mostly do the testing uh, by ourselves. We uh, we have what we call is like both board owners inside our own team, and uh, and also uh, Lava because Lava would be the best goal for us to have like fully tested and automated and etc. But we're still not there yet. There's a lot of things to improve in Lava, and there's also a lot of test cases to develop. So currently, we're also uh, using the, the our own engineers to help testing and, and supporting the boards. And uh, our basically we do the, the daily builds and uh, uh, during the whole month until uh, the last Monday of the month as we have not last Monday of the month but last Monday of the, the cycle. Because sometimes we are also we are always releasing on the last Thursday of the month. So it kind of depends a little bit uh, on how you see that, but it's usually like three days before the, 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 the final release. And uh, we try to integrate most of the things during the month, but it's, it's very common to, to, to end up doing the final integration of the final bits during the last four or five days once the other components are released in, in an hour. Uh, I'll try to show a little bit how we are uh, producing the images and uh, so people can actually locate it easily and, uh, and go over the, 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 the systems that we currently support. Basically, um, Offspring uh, is the one responsible for generating all the images that we support, even uh, the hardware packs. And uh, the, all the images that are created. Uh, like for example, Nano developer and etc. are all using live build or based on live build. So we have very similar scripts uh, as, as Ubuntu that and also uses, and uh, Ubuntu is also using live build for most of their builds currently. So we're kind of using the same procedures. And uh, in the end, what we in what we have in the images is is basically a, a, a sum of the Ubuntu archive and uh, and the Lenaro overlay DBA. So we try to have both together. And uh, our our components and packages and so on it ends up in the overlay, but we also have the Ubuntu archive as our main thing. So we try to put newer version of stuff, and then uh, we create the images and uh, we try to come up with a single solution. So we have access to the whole Ubuntu archive. Yeah, exactly. So what is if you if you for example get one uh, each image that we have, we have basically the full uh, archive that supports that's supported by Ubuntu. But they are not recompiled with the tool chain with our latest the version of, latest version of our tool chains. Not the latest version, right. yeah. but uh, as Ubuntu is also using the Lenaro tool chain, we kind of have most of the optimizations in place. Okay. But yeah, it's not the latest because uh, recompiling the whole archive is something that we still are in <laughs> progress because of thousands and thousands of packages and it takes quite a while, at least with the infrastructure that we have. What's off spring? I'll show just I'll just show a little bit. Okay. Uh, the build system if the internet helps. Well I'll try to show I don't think well they have internet but it doesn't have I don't know if it's not just off spring or or the internet connection is not working. A 
I'll try to come up later in the presentation. But it, uh, uh, it's basically a build system that was created by the, the OEM group inside Canonical. Uh, that you uh, create a build, and uh, then basically you will schedule a build using live build and so on every day, and then you can uh, see the build logs and you can grab the build results and so on. So it's a, a web service that you basically use it for builds, where we 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 get up and, uh, and produce our images and the uh, and the artifacts. We'll see if we, we can try to demonstrate later. So uh, then talking about how we integrate our components, uh, basically that, uh, the components that are produced by Lenaro, uh, how we, we end up uh, since from, uh, from packaging of the component, since the, the, and also how we try to enable the continuous integration of that component, and uh, what do we expect from the other groups to do in order to have like a, a fully enabled it and test it and so on. So, we support people uh, pushing and development and patches and so on on both GitLab.org and Launchpad. If you're Launchpad, you're basically using the Bazaar branches. It's uh, easier for us because we can easily integrate the Launchpad infrastructure. But if you're also using GitLab.org, we can uh, easily uh, sync up the repository with the Bazaar branch and Launchpad. So we can uh, uh, also use the same infrastructure without actually needing to support Git. We, uh, what we usually request from people is, is in, in, in groups is basically to announce uh, the plan of having a new company and they ought to be like for example this month we integrated the newer version of Lead PNG. That was something that in the beginning of the cycle uh, uh, the, the graphics uh, tech lead came up to the to, to came up to me and, uh, and asked it, uh, if we could integrate it uh, during uh, during the, that cycle and make also that available in those LEDs. And uh, we also try to continue do the continuous integration for the component. So we we are not expecting people to come up just with the end, at the end of the month and do a snapshot or to do to do a code dump or something. We'll try to do the, the what we call this kind of daily builds, and uh, and I also push to a staging PPA as a staging uh, uh, overlay, and uh, uh, and then we try to generate images for uh, against that staging overlay, so we can uh, test all the latest components uh, once once a new comment or, or a new release is out, and. Um, what we do is basically then we will feed lava with this new image that is still, as we call it, a staging image with all the, 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 the latest components that is available during the development. And uh, then we request people to make the tests available by lava so lava would get that image and then we'll be using the latest components of everything and we'll run the tests and then report back. If, and uh, then we can easily compare the, the state of the component and see if we can integrate in at the official release or even push to Ubuntu directly if it is working properly. Here's a, a simple uh, simple workflow that uh, I presented on last night, I believe. Uh, what we do is uh, we want, we will basically, as soon as a new uh, request for a uh, new component is made for me, uh, from the working group, we we'll try to watch the component tree, like for example, can be both a bazaar or a tree, and then we would do the, the daily builds of it, and it could be a cross or it could be a native build, depending on the, the requirements of the, of, the, of the project, like for example, building kernel, tool chain, and etc. It takes an impressive amount of time to do it, so we try to improve it a little bit with, uh, with the cross build, instead of doing native builds. And uh, then we push the results to the staging PPA. Uh, it's the last repository. story. It's basically the, the, the same thing for people that are not using the, the, the PPA terminology. It's basically an additional repository that you can push packages uh, and use at Ubuntu. And uh, then we generate images and hardware packages from that staging repository, push to lab, request the test to, be, uh, to run against the, the, that image combination, and, uh, and then we continuously doing it until the, the, the end of the cycle. So once we uh, once we release uh, our, our images in the end of the month, 
we can uh, already see the test results during the month and see uh, how good the quality is and, uh, and, and if we can go further and even push to burn to or, or whatever. Or release to other, other distributions and so on. So, let me see. I don't know if Offspring is still working. I don't know if so. Did you did check if Offspring is online? Or? It looks like it's the network. Is that network? Okay. But let me show uh, um, how we are doing the continuous integration on, on, on some of the components that we have and using the launchpad infrastructure to do that. But it seems the network is down. So it seems that I don't have any network, not only offspring. So it's a, that's a bad luck. Try to show later if the network comes up again. But so okay, <coughs> moving on a little bit and um, try to explain. I would I would like to, to, to show the examples and show the trees and etc. inside Launchpad uh, for people to, to actually understand a little bit better. But I would just try to, to describe it uh, uh, how we do with some some components. Like for example, for the components that we do native builds and. Um, what we do is, uh, it could be a, a pure Bazaar branch launchpad, or it could also be an, uh, an import branch from Git. Like, for example, if you're publishing on Gilanar.org, we will create a Bazaar branch launchpad, and we'll request the sync to happen automatically. And we'll have, I guess, an every four hours or something, so we can use that as our main branch, for at least for the builds. Launchpad supports a feature that we call as, uh, as a recipe for, for daily builds. So you can easily request a Launchpad to, for example, build this uh, package on top of that repository in a daily basis and then publish the resulting uh, package in a specific repository for PPA. And then Launchpad will automatically import the code and do the builds and publish on a, on a PPA for you. And, um, all the bits that we're currently, currently doing with uh, uh, the continuous integration, we are pushing to the staging PPA. It's basically because on Linaro we have currently the overlay uh, as, as our main PPA, where we produce the images, uh, the official images for now. And we also have the staging PPA just with unstable uh, software that we still, uh, that, we, that we basically want to test and validate before actually moving to the official overlay. And uh, some of the components that we do support currently is, is if you go and, uh, uh, and see the, 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 the ones that we support uh, continuous integration is uh, using this, this format. It's like, for example, DLMark2, GLCombank, Ubuntu Linaro, I think LibJPEG Turbo, and a few others uh, that, we, that we just uh, disabled during this month. And uh, we also um, provide, as, as I said, Previously, we also support cross build for some of the components like that takes an impressive amount of time to build, or it takes like too much memory, and then uh, launchpad builders are still not not that yet to do all the syncs and uh, creating the source package and so on. So then we end up using Jenkins. Jenkins is a uh, I don't know if you're, everybody's used it with that, but it's a tool where you can schedule build jobs and so on. So. Um, we then uh, create the, the, the recipe for the daily builds, like for example the kernel, and uh, we request Jenkins, and uh, currently we use EC2 to do the builds, and then um, automatically, Jenkins we automatically feed Lava with the, the resulted package, with the resulted kernel package, and then we can run the test on top of that combination, image combination, and we can see if the package is, is, is a, if the kernel package is a good quality or not like doing the same validation that uh, people are already using for, for the, the, the daily kernel builds against, uh, uh, against Linux Next, ARM SOC, and a few other trees. Check if it's, it's back? Yeah. It is back, so. Let me first show Offspring, that was, that was done before. It seems to be back, but let's see if Hot Spring is back. Yeah, 
these are some of the components that we are currently uh, doing uh, what we call as the, uh, the staging overlay support. It's basically continuous integration. And uh, like, for example, using the, the recipe feature for from, uh, from Launchpad. And uh, like, for example, checking the, the completely narrow. What we do, we have a basically a, a branch when, when uh, we request the sync. So this branch is basically the sync of the uh, stable trunk that is available on GitLab Amazon Org. And uh, then the, the recipe will basically uh, merge it together with the packaging component that we have here, create the source package, and push it to the staging overlay. And then the package will be available there for, for people to consume and download. And this is basically what we do for a bunch of other components in the screen. I still can't see offspring, so I need to push that for a little time. Oh, here it is. So here's the, the, the build uh, system that I used, as we call this offspring and uh, Elenaro. You can see that you you can uh, see the build price of the, uh, the hard effects that we support and also the, the images. As I was saying, the Ubuntu desktop. Here we also have an initial version of the server. Uh, the nano, elip, and uh, developers. So here you can uh, see what is the last build, if it is successfully completed, and, uh, and also see the logs uh, for the builds in case it is failing or not. Like, for example, let's get you see here the where's the code of the hard effect where you define uh, how the back hard effect should be created. You have all the build logs and you can also um, see the, the build details and, uh, and then also get to the point where you can easily download it. Like for example, you can build the log and you or you can go directly to the downloading page. So in, in a case that, it, that the number of fails to be created, you can easily see here from the log and on the screen. So if you're, for example, supporting a, you want to support a new board, you would need to provide the recipes of the new the new hardware package, and then we would create a new bid request here, and then, and then it will be daily generated automatically and provided as snapshots of the new board. That, that's mostly the, the infrastructure that, that we use. I'll just try to demonstrate a little bit uh, how um, how we can easily uh, grab a snapshot or even a release and uh, grab it and download and install it. So if you want to try, even for the release of the image, I uh, uh, want to help with the daily testing and, and, and etc. So we have all our images and the packages available at snapshots.org. So I'll try to show the link here. You can have, for example, for the owner, we have all the hardware packages and we also have uh, the images. And uh, then you just select what you want, like for example, for origin. And you have all the days, all the views that happened that day. And then you can find, after taking up so many directors, you can find the tar her ball that's going to be used for the linear image grid test. And uh, all the daily builds uh, that we do are available in this, in this, in this link. We also provide, the, the, in a different link, uh, the religion images, like uh, after the RC is out and we test and validate it in the center, the release manager and the narrow will copy the, the correct release of the images from the snapshots to release it uh, in just the of the bar. So if you go here, you see basically the same the same structure, but pointing the uh, the the image like Alip, developer, Nano, Ubuntu, Ubuntu desktop, and uh, then we also have, for example, the hard effects, and uh, like for example, 11.10, and you'll see all the hard effects that are available for all the boards that we support. So. This is basically where we can locate the official uh, uh, image after the release is out. And uh, basically the link that we point out in the release notes. 
Then uh, to install it is uh, using the normal uh, the normal procedure is, is quite simple. You just need to install. Uh, this is a, a PPA is an additional repository where we uh, uh, provide the latest Leonardo image tools, and uh, it's always useful. On, uh, uh, like in every month after every release, if you already have the, the, reposit, uh, the repository enabled, you just give an update, uh, if you get updated upgrade. But if you don't have it, just enable it, and uh, then you just uh, install, and you have the latest version that is fully compatible with the, 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 the latest release. And then in one single line, you can request, uh, uh, you just basically point uh, uh, an SD card, like for example, we can put an SD card, and it would be like slash that, slash SDB something. And uh, then you can just basically uh, SDB, and, uh, and then you put a binary, what, that is basically the image, uh, it could be nano, um, desktop, or developer, and also the hardware package, depending on the board that you have. And the, then the only additional instruction that you need to do is to uh, give what the board that you want to build, give the board that you want to build, uh, so the Media Create can correctly create the partitions and copy the bootloader and so on. Uh, uh, in a way that, that should be uh, that the, the board support because you, every board that we have it kind of have a special definition of the partition layers and etc. bootloaders. You might want to mention swap file. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Swap file is uh, this is basically I just pointed here the minimal uh, 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 the minimum arguments that you need to pass, but uh, something as as Tom was pointing out, something uh, other argument is very useful is the swap file because. If the board, for example, doesn't have enough memory, it's usually something that you got, that you want to use. And uh, the other uh, way to installing and getting our images is by the the, the pre-installed images that Andy is creating on uh, every month. But this is basically uh, against the uh, uh, the released images. We're not doing the same thing for the for the snapshots. So, like for example, you don't want to install a Linux uh, image tool, Linux image tools, because you are not using Ubuntu. Then it can be a little bit complicated because of the amount of dependencies that you have. You can easily go to that link, and uh, then it's basically the uh, the same format that we have already for Ubuntu. Is a uh, DD image that you can just download it and uh, run DD to your flash card and uh, boot it up. It's very easy, but we currently only support the the release image. Not for every snapshots. And uh, I'll try to show first a little bit uh, how how we can try to use it. I'll try to just enable here and show how we could create it. Let me try to maximize it a little bit so it can be more. So I already downloaded uh, all the names that I have. It's uh, like, for example, here's basically for 11.10. And uh, you can check uh, Lenaro Media Create and uh, all the options that it supports. Like, for example, uh, the image. You could also provide a, create an image for Keem if you don't have the board and want to try it out, uh, if the Keem will support the board. You have all the, 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 the boards that it's supposed to be supported, like for example, Barrel, Versatile Express, and Venda, and some others. You can also give the, the, the file system format, like for example, X3, X4, and so on. You can give the labels, and uh, then as you can also uh, give the image side, for example, if you're using uh, a key, it's, it's something that is useful. And you can also create, uh, give the swap file. Uh, and you can just pass the amount of mega, mega, megabytes it should be. And as some pointed out, then you, uh, it will be created after flashing the SD card. And uh, another option that is usually useful if you're trying out, uh, uh, not for the first time, but after a while, it's the uh, hardware package for CS, because there's a, it's a little bit annoying that it's, it requests you to accept if it is going to continue or not installing all the packages. So I tried to demonstrate here quickly, uh, I had an SD card on my computer, like um, creating a, a, an, an image that is based for Panda using the hardware package uh, that is available for an 11.10 release, and also uh, a nano image 
that are also provided, provided by this current release. Then you need to run as root, so that's why it's a do. And um, then it will show you all the, the disks that is available on your system, basically to request, to ask you if you're not using the wrong one, so you're not going to erase, for example, the, the first partition of your disk, or otherwise you're going to be screwed. Then it just accepted it, and we will extract the contents from the hard effect. We will update uh, uh, the, the, uh, the defective metadata, and we will install uh, everything on your SD card. And after, I think here is after 10 minutes or so. Let's see if we're still going to have time to, to, to show it up after running the command. But it's after usually around 10 minutes, at least for Nano, you will be uh, uh, you have the SD card available for just. You can just put it on the board and it should just work. And the same procedure uh, should work for all the other emails that we support. So we just basically need to replace Lenaro Nano for Lenaro Desktop, and Lenaro Developer, or any other emails that we have available. So then uh, after you have it all working and, and uh, using it uh, on your boards, if you find a bug in etc., how are you going to report it and how we can uh, request us to work on it and see if it is actually something that it was expected or not. Uh, there's a project in, uh, in Launchpad that is uh, basically that we provide uh, uh, it's a, the main point of contact for, for all our Lenaro LEDs that we call as Lenaro Ubuntu that you can easily go and, uh, and, uh, and create and uh, request a new bug report. And you can see uh, in this project all the milestones that we have. You can also see uh, what we are planning for the other months. Uh, we can see all the blueprints that, uh, that are coming up, uh, the latest bug that uh, reported, and so on. And you can also easily report a new bug by clicking on a report a bug. And then you can just point out, like for example, I tried the LUB Panda on a specific hardware package, and then it didn't boot, and so on. And then we we will try as the bug and, uh, and also helping improving and doing the support over the time. And for example, if it is a Ubuntu related problem only, we're also going to link with Ubuntu and so on. So at first, if you had any issue with, uh, with our LEDs, you can go directly to this project and report a bug there. Um, we usually track the bugs and try the bugs around uh, with the release manager, so we can also weekly on our uh, RC meeting. That is public. That is uh, public and available on uh, open and available at the uh, hash Lenaro meeting. And um, then we go over all the bugs that are uh, that were reported and see what are the priorities and see if we can, for example, if it is specific to a board, we can go again uh, uh, with the landing team and try to, to ask help from them and see uh, if, for example, it's just a kernel related issue. They can also help us work in it. And uh, the usual places that we are available, if you want to request support, is uh, the Lenaro dev mailing list and uh, hash Lenaro RC channel on Freenode. We also uh, we are mostly all the time around. We have people from India, from Brazil, from uh, uh, Poland, and uh, any other places uh, from our team. Uh, and we can easily uh, help you guiding you, and, uh, like for example, reporting bug or fixing and so on. So mostly, if you have any issue, just go to the, the RC channel and it should always be available there. Let's see if it is, how it's going. Uh, the image is almost, it's not enough. Yeah, it is, is it the point that it's trying to write now on the disk? So uh, it, it did install all the packages that were uh, part of the hardware package, and it's now basically doing cleanup and then copying the files to the SD card. So this is the part that usually takes more, more time, because depending on the SD card that you have. And that's all, I think. Uh, if you have any questions, um, I can try to take it there now, or you can just ping me directly at uh, Hashlin Arrow, and I'm uh, usually available, not for 24-7, for but usually most of the time. So any questions?
how do you decide what goes into the images? So I don't want to get the first thing I have to do is like to store that uh, SSH so I can actually yep. do some of the things this yeah, it's a little bit annoying. We try to solve this that issue uh, with SSH, but it's it's not that simple because it generates your key when uh, uh, when it's installing the package. So if we install the package on the build server, everybody's going to have the same key. So that's why specifically specifically about uh, uh, with the SSH package, we're not providing by uh, well, for that specific reason. But uh, basically, uh, it depends a little bit on the goal of our aims. Like for example, for now, we were basically not providing anything. It's just a very simple prompt, and uh, uh, with the minimal tools that we can uh, that we can still uh, that we can still, for example, use it to get and so on to turn it out in a, in a full image if you want. And uh, desktop is basically the Ubuntu desktop, so we have the full, uh, like for example, Unity desktop running on it. You have the video player, audio player, and uh, most of other components. And if you're just looking for a simple board that you can still develop, I would recommend you uh, the developer image. Then you basically have most of the things that you want and need, like out of the box, if you watch the image. So, an RMB bit rate, it looks to me, it always looks to me like it's actually downloading computers. It is, yeah. this is basically because of the, the way that we create a hardware package. The hardware package is, is uh, uh, basically a bunch of packages that we request, like for example, kernel, bootloader, and then the, like graphics drivers and so on. Everything that's specific to a board, we try to push out in a hardware package. And then what linear media create will do is it, it will get the, the root FS that is provided like for example, nano, Ubuntu desktop, or any other image. And uh, it will install all these additional packages on top of that image. And then we will basically copy to the SD card. So that's why it seems that it's installed on the package. But it's actually installed, it's not getting from the internet, it is, it is like, Updating the the the, the, met, the the package metadata, but here all the packages that the, that is installing it is provided by the hardware package itself. So you can see uh, you boot uh, you boot in image uh, Linux image. This one is the uh, is for uh, the LTMF for Denon board, uh, flash kernel, and some other tools that are not uh, by default available in, in uh, the image that that we create. So here it will install all those packages and then basically clean up and copy it over to the SD card. So you can see here that it's just copied uh, the U-boot and uh, the SPL that's, uh, for, for MLO. And uh, then create the, the flash kernel configuration, update the interfaces, and that's all. You will see you have the card uh, flash it up. Let me try to quickly put on Panda and show it up for you. I have a Panda here that basically I'm gonna show it up on the serial console. Okay, let me put it over. So you can see it will get uh, use our boot, the same one that's provided by the hard package. It will down, um, get the kernel and the in each error fast and basically boot it up. And give you a console at both uh, the serial connection uh, and the serial port, and also in a, in a from TTU on uh, a TTS one or something, a monitor if you're on a TV or a display. So it would need to be part of every, every for example, uh, hard effects. But we can try to, for example, later on provide an additional argument in our media crate so we can try to give a package set and we'll try to install it during the image creation, to the image creation phase. It could be something that we try to do. So that will not solve the entirety of your issue, but we will at least help you to get it sorted in a way. So it's still it's still taking a while to put because here we just noticed that it's still one plug that we need to fix. <laughs> that it's trying to look for the uh, and try to put up all the interfaces and there's an the additional interface that is not part of the pen board. But we thought we'd fix it, but we still didn't fix it yet. So 
but we will give it turn on. And uh, any other questions? Thanks. Let's. let's Thanks. Hopefully, we'll show it out. Thanks, anyway. Thank you.